Hey everybody, this is Justin from FrugalSnobs.com. What's up YouTube? Part of the brew review for everybody. I brought Christina with me to help me out on this one. Say hello. Hello. And I have for everybody a review of the Folded Mountains American mm -hmm. Pale Ale. Now I have to enunciate this because I keep calling it Folding Mountains. I don't know why. Now on Beer Advocate, this particular pale ale received a 3.41 rating. Uh, I believe, Christina, there are 49 total reviews. Yes. And who brewed this? This is brewed by Custom Tap Brews. All right, 5.3% ABV, so not gonna hurt you too much, folks. Pretty drinkable. So I'm gonna drink this out of the bottle. Uh, I will review if anybody wants a custom review out of a glass, but let's go take a sniff. Kind of a flat smell to this. I don't smell any hoppiness or citrus scents to this pale ale. Let's go ahead and take another sip. And what do you think about it? Now I say another sip, mm, it's pretty good. I say another <laughs> sip because I cheated, folks. I took a few sips before the review. So this basically reminds me of a lager foretaste, um, but a pine aftertaste, almost like tasting the smell of pine needles. Better than grass. I know it sounds weird, folks. It's not, it's not like eating wood chips or anything. And I have to mention that on Memorial Day weekend, given that people are grilling and whatnot. Uh, I myself prefer mesquite chips. But anyway, uh, not a bad brew. Um, I'd probably give it a four-star snob rating. I would enjoy the standalone or with food. I'd probably enjoy it with pub grub, as Christina always calls it, pub grub, bar the, food. The pretzels, the chips, the nachos, the, yes, the typical salty food. Yes, definitely salty food and enjoy it very cold, folks. Um, very drinkable, not bad at all. A uh, four-star snob rating, like I said, this is the Folded Mountains American Pale Ale. So check it out if you get a chance. We pick this up for under $7 a six-pack. Uh, I think six forty nine retail minus tax, of course. Yes. At our local grocery chain, Aldi. So if you have an Aldi near you, you might want to check out this brew if it's available. Not too bad. Check it out. All right, folks, we're going to wrap this up. So if you would like to learn more about us, the Frugal Snobs, you can check us out at frugalsnobs.com. You'll find all the information you need to access our social media, all the networks where you can find the podcast. And, of course, while you're here, make sure you check out the other videos. Hit the subscribe button and the notification button. And of course, if you go to FrugalSnobs.com, hit the notification button while you're there, too. You can subscribe to notifications. Every little bit helps us out. And of course, if you like what you hear, what you see, please do support us on Patreon. You can find us on Patreon. All the information you need is at FrugalSnobs.com. All right, folks, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Christine, you ready to get out of here? Yes. Excellent. Be well. Never pay retail, folks. Take care of yourself and each other and enjoy responsibly.